Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film a makeup look using this Morphe palette. I'm going to go for something a little bit more different on the eyes. I think I'm going to go a little bit more out of my comfort zone on my eyes. And I'm going to be testing out the Primark fake eyelashes, the volume ones. Then I've gone in and I've before I've done my makeup I'm going to I've washed my face. I've used my vitamin E moisturiser. I've used the serum and the hydrating spray mist off eBay. So, and we're going to test these out. I've used a few. So, and I've washed my own brushes as well. I did that the other day. I gave them a really good wash. That one doesn't look like it had a wash, but we've all had a really good wash. And these are the ones I'm going to be using today. Trying out these eBay ones to see if they're see if they're any good. So, I'm going to go in and just do my eyebrows like normal. I'm going to start with my eyebrows. I'm going to go in with the Morphe palette and I just use a light brown shade out of there, or any good cool tone shade for the eyebrows. So I feel I haven't done a video in a while, so I thought I was going to do, I'm going to do one of my favourites, I'm going to do a makeup video, which I love. And I'm just going to take this brown here that I've used quite a bit of and we're just going to go in with the eyebrows. So I'm just, we're going to have a little chit chat, but I'm going to talk about what I'm doing with my makeup as well. I follow my own natural shape, and then when I get to this little bit up here, I just lift it slightly with the eyeshadow, so I just make it look like I've got a higher arch. Thank you so much to everyone that's uh, supporting me so far. It's so, so lovely. You must like me. <laughs> I'm trying, so I'm so grateful for it all so far, honestly. It means the world. I know quite a few of you have said, you know, you've tried the foundation that I've used and I recommend and just a few like a few things that I use and you're all saying you used them, it's it means the world to me. Any shade of brown, like a, more of a cool shade brown. Um, and then I'm gonna should we try one of these new brushes? I'll take this little one today. It's just it's just a pack of brushes, eye brushes that I got off eBay that were, I think, five pounds. So I thought, you know, I'm going to buy them and test them and see if they're any good and if anyone recommends it. Because anyone on a budget or just someone that doesn't want to spend loads of money on brushes, I've bought them to test them to see if they're any good and I'm going to let you guys know. Just conceal around the eyebrows. This is one step I can't miss. I've got a damp beauty blender, it is clean. I know it looks filthy, but it's not. They just stain like crazy beauty blenders. Yeah, and I'm just gonna pop this onto the eyes. That's because my lids are very red. We want a nice even base to do our eyeshadow on. And today I'm not gonna set my eyelids. So I've watched a few makeup tutorials on people that I love on YouTube and I've noticed a lot of them have not set their concealer. And they find, they, they say when they come to doing their eyeshadows that it blends a lot better. So we're going to test that today. A fluffy buffing brush. So I'm just going to test out these brushes, see if they're good. So the first colour I'm going to go in with, this is really dirty, but it's very well loved. I think my transition shade, I'm going to go in for this one down here. Whoa, when you don't set it, there's so much more pigment. Wow. Jeez Louise. That's good. So yeah, don't don't set don't set your concealer on your eyes when it comes to doing your eyeshadow. It's just lit anymore. Again with the other eye. So I know when I when I do my eyes, I, I, I do play it quite safe. I do play it quite safe, so I'm going to try and do something a little bit more different on camera. We are has made this blending process so much more quicker, so I'm not here all day blending my eyeshadow and my arm's about to fall off. So that has honestly blended so freaking well. Going to take more of a take more of a darker I'm gonna go I'm gonna go in with this bright purple let's play around with it I don't even know what I'm doing I'm just going with it I'm going with the flow so it's picking it up really well as well 
so we're just going to focus this on the outer corner, the outer V. It's nice to go out of your comfort zone and try something a little bit different. So now I'm going to go in with my H&M fluffy one. I have to, I have to bring this in. I love it. But this is just more dense. And I'm just going to give it a good old blend. Really, really good. Just do a little cut crease as well. I'm just going to take my NYX concealer pot again and the same brush that I carved my eyebrows out with. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go in with this mustardy colour that I absolutely love. And we're just going to pack that on the cut crease, the concealer. I think these colours work really, really well together as well. I'm just going to go back in with harsh edges. Then I'm going to take the brush that I used for the purple, a little bit more of the purple, and just blend that cut crease in a little bit more so there's no harsh lines. Let's try wetting the brush. I'm just going to take my hydrate, hydrating mist and I'm just going to wet the brush because you can get a lot more pigment that way if you wet the brush. So, Oh yeah, that's better. Do the brow bone. Then, should we do a wing? Should we do a wing as well? So I'm going to take my super cat and do a wing. And before we do that, and I'm just going to wipe the mess away. Hang on the other eye. It's amazing. People need this, it's so good. I'm going to start this side, I think. Give it a go. So normally they're quite long for me, quite a little bit long. So I'm just going to take my scissors here, these little scissors that I've got, and I'm just going to cut, never cut the the fluffier end, the end that's going to go on the outside, never cut that, always cut the inner, the inner side, I've not really spoken much in this, but when you do your makeup, I don't know if anyone finds this, when you're doing your makeup, it's quite hard to talk, because you're just so in, so in the element of doing your makeup, you're just like, always give it a little while, just a little bit, just so it gets a bit tacky, and it makes it um, easier to apply, if you just let the glue dry a little, I'm going to go onto my face, give them a little bit, then I'll put the mascara on. So I give, I let them dry. Then I'll put the mascara on. So I'm going to use my favourite, as I always use, my Maybelline New York foundation. This is, I love this stuff. It's so bloody amazing. It's so bloody good. Put a few squirts around my face. To a, to a lot of people, that might be a lot. But to me, it's never a lot. Just gonna go in with my beauty blender. It's like that. And it's said, uh, I think it's, how long is this one? So you can get, yeah, it's a 24 hour wear. Never worn my foundation for 24 hours, but sometimes I can averagely have makeup on for about 10 hours and <laughs> It lasts pretty well, so it's very, very good. I don't need to touch up when I'm wearing this foundation, that's for sure. I don't need to powder or blot my skin or anything like that when I'm using it. Bloody hell. So I'm just going to dot this around here. I need another one. So this is really good to lighten that under eye. Stick. This is a stick foundation, but I've bought it for cream contour because it's extremely dark. And you do not need a lot of this at all. You need the most tiniest bit. I'm going to do this when I'm quite tan, but I am quite tan on my neck. My hands, it rubs off really easily because I'm forever washing my hands. Action Sheer Loose Powder in 2 Translucent. And I'm going to take a dry beauty blender and just dip my beauty blender into the powder and just. Do a little bit of baking underneath the eye. Sorry if you can hear the chair. 
it squeaks really bad. It's really good to set the face with because it's a very dense brush. And I know in a lot of videos I use quite a few, like quite a lot of the products are the same, I know, but I can't, I can't, I can't help myself. If I love something, I'm going to use it forever, that's for sure. For sure, try more different products, so keep your eye open for that. So I'm going to use my bronzer from New Look, like I always use. <laughs> Don't forget the ears. You do not want your ears a different colour. Also, I might show this in the video as well, actually. I'm going to take my powder again. And then I'm just going to dip my sponge into this. And I'm just going to bake underneath where I put my contour to make it look sharper. I'm just going to show you. Just like so. Looks crazy. I'm going to leave it there to just bake a little bit. Baking is basically another word of setting something. You're setting it even more than, like if you used a brush, you'd just be setting it. Baking is, you can use a brush, but I'd, I'd use a beauty blender and you're going to bake it. You're going to let it sit there for a little bit and it's really going to bake into the skin, set the skin and actually stay there. So there you go. Try it instead of using your brush. So this eye look is very different. This could be, I don't know, you're going out for the night with your friends, you're going out to dinner, or you're generally just like someone like me that would just generally wear this in the day, just rock it in the day. You only live once, wear as much makeup as you want. If you're happy wearing all this makeup like I would if I was going out and you're feeling the best and you're confident, why not bloody wear it? If it makes you happy, makes you feel good, you do you boo. So you can see, how much more sharper my contour is. The next little step I'm gonna do that I haven't done before is gonna take my concealer that I use underneath my eyes, just on this clean new angled brush. And I'm gonna put this in my waterline, so this is really gonna brighten up the eye instead of putting a black there. So, and I'm just gonna, hopefully you can see, good old prime up mascara which I love, the brush on this is so good. I'm just gonna blend some of my, my lashes with the fake lashes. I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques highlighting brush with the Urban Decay Afterglow highlighting palette. And let's add some highlighter. Look at that highlighter. Oh my god, is it in the shade Toast? Toast, I think. Just this really nice brown. If there's something too harsh on your lips, like a red, it's gonna take all the hard work that you've done in your eyes straight to your lips almost. So, you know, you don't want your lips to be the center of attention, you want your eyes that you've worked on. So I'm gonna go Palace one in the shade Dead Lips 210. I'm going to go in with this one, just this one here. I've moved the tripod. Is the finish makeup look. So, overall, I am pretty impressed with the eyelashes. They do keep coming up a little, I will admit. But that's probably because the eyelash glue that it comes with. Is pretty rubbish because it's the Primark glue. So pretty impressed with how it's all turned out. I hope you all are too. I'm really impressed with it's it. My beautiful pug. So yes, she's the one that's been making all the noise in the background. So I really, really hope you enjoyed the video today. It was something a little bit more different, not the um, same old smoky eye. Hello, gorgeous girl. So, and I all hope you enjoy watching. I'm going to do my outro with my pug. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all soon. Say bye. Bye.